We have an approach shot to the sixth green. Took you out on the course. We're gonna we're working a little cause and effect right now because I want this is a good good opportunity for me to talk to you about the stupid curve that you spin on your, with your wedges. Um, what causes the spin? Well, the spin is caused from the grooves, obviously, and how much you pinch it down. So you can see where the pin is right there. It's kind of tucked left side. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to try to hit a shot nice and high with a little bit of spin. Hopefully the effect of that will be a nice little spin backwards. You control your distance that way. This is all distance control stuff. You can get dialed in with your wedges. You can lose, you can lose a lot of strokes on the scorecard. Um, so what, what comes to mind when you think of a shot like this? Where are you trying to place it? Well, I want to go to the little bit to the right top side and let it come back down. Okay. In order to do that, you have to be able to have a nice little spin on it, right? Whether or not it spins backwards or if it just checks up. Because there's not much green to work with. Approach shots like this are difficult because of that reason. Um, so you got to kind of visualize it as in coming in high with a nice little check, soft check on it. Let's let's see you hit one here because this is where your third shot or your second shot ended up. But now you know that the spin of the golf ball is affected by the grooves. And the, you know, so let's hopefully have a nice little pinch on it. There you go. That's a great shot. Perfect. Let's fill this sand up. What caused what caused the ball to spin? The grooves. That came. Because you pinched it nicely. You pinched got, it right got in the there. Got the ball first. Now you got a five footer for birdie. Let's see if you can tap that that guy in. Perfect good, shot. Good work.